Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital 2 EET 122. Today's discussion is going to be on the design of synchronous counters, and this is a Mealy circuit example. Our last example was a Moore circuit where the next state is just dependent upon the present state. This example is going to be the present state and an external input determine the next state. Okay, let's say we have a counter with these following states, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, where if our external input is 0, we go in this direction, where 0, 0 is just a feed-in state. So that's when our external input E equals 0. However, when external input E equals 1, we go in the following manner. And again, 0, 0 is just a feed-in state to a loop. Okay? So, how are we going to build a counter that implements this particular finite state machine where an external input controls as well as the present state, the next state? Okay, step 0. Step 0, which you should already be extre extremely familiar with right now, is your cheat sheet. There's only these possible occurrences, these four possible changes that a flip-flop can do. It can be a 0 and go to a 0, 0 go to a 1, 1 go to a 0, 1 to a 1. And we've got J and K inputs. <clears throat> so if it's a 0 and a 0, you can either reset or stay. If it's a 0 and a 1, it can either set or toggle. That's a 1 going to a 0. It could either reset or toggle. If it's a 1 and a 1, it can either stay or set. That's our cheat sheet. Got to have it. OK. Take all possible combinations of input. All possible combinations of input are our present states and our external input in this particular example. All possible combos look something like this. And now, determine your next state. When I'm at 0, 0, and my external input is 0, looks like I'm following that first blue arrow to 1, 1. Now, I'm still in mo I know I know you just determined next state is 1, 1. I'm urging you, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Because if you go into this next example and say present state is now 1, 1, you're going to skip something. You're going to mess it up. Again, do all possible combinations of input. So now I'm at 0, 1, and my external input is 0. So that means I'm following this arrow right here. I'm going to also 1, 1. OK, get it? So I'm at 0, 1. My external input is 0. I'm going to 1, 1. So there's two states that feed into 1, 1. OK, and if you've done the analysis correctly for mode 0, you should look something like this. OK? So now we're in mode 1, and we're in 0, 0, present state 0, 0. Where do we go? 0, 1. And if you get the picture, your the rest of this table should look something like this. And there you go. So that was step 1. Step 0, cheat sheet. Step 1. All possible combos of input determine next. Step two, do the JK analysis for each stage using our cheat sheet. So JK analysis of each stage, how many stages? Well, it looks like there's two because it's a two-bit finite state machine. So J1, K1, J0, K0. So now all you do is, based off the stage, 
let's do J1, K1. So we've got a 0 and a 1. And actually, I'll just make this simpler. These are the stages we're interested in. Q1 was a 0. Now it's a 1. We're going for this column right here. So 0, 1, 1, x. Next one, 0, 1, 1, x. 1, 0, x, 1, and so on and so forth. And it should look like this. Now, we're still in stage 2 because we have to do it for each stage. So we're looking at Q0, transitioning to that next one. So we've got a 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, x, 1, 1, x, 0. And if you've done everything correctly, you should look like this. And there you go. OK, so we're moving on to step three. K map each J and K. So each J and K, J1 goes in this K map. And if you filled it out correctly, it look, should look something like this. And then the K1 should go in this K map right here. And then J0 and K0 are going to each go in these K-maps. And now we're at step four. Determine expressions for each J and K. And how you do that is just perform an analysis. I'm going to grab that big group of four, this group of four. I don't need to worry about this X right here because it's a don't care. Let's say I'm going to grab that one, that one. Here's a tricky one. I could grab that big old column of ones, but I've got these don't cares next to it. So what I'm grabbing there is everything. I have to include those ones. So what is the J0 expression? It's really easy. It's a plus 5. It's always a 1. Next one, our K0, that one, and this one. OK, so now part of that determining our expressions is basically determine what each one of those groups represent. And this is a good KMAP practice. If you've done it correctly, you should look like this, where our J1 expression looks like it's got our final expression for that. J1 is not E or Q0 final expression for K1, not E, and not Q, or E and not Q. Expression for J0, real easy. It's a 1 or a plus 5 volts for TTL logic. K0 looks like it's a not E and Q1, or E and and not Q1. These two expressions may look similar to you. They could easily be replaced with an exclusive OR. This could easily be replaced with an exclusive NOR. So exclusive OR, remember, it's high when it's different. Exclusive NOR, it's high when it's the same. Okay. So that's basically step one, two, three, and four. Get your cheat right in step zero. Get your cheat sheet, list all possible combinations of input, determine your next. Step two, do the JK analysis for each stage using your cheat sheet. Step three, K map each J and K input. Number four, determine expressions. And number five and six is basically implementing it and testing it. And to save ourselves some time, what you'll realize is these expressions here are the exact same expressions 
in our analysis of synchronous counter videos and lab example problem. And it does, in fact, implement that particular finite state machine where an external input will drive it one way or the other. OK, so basically, checking your work is doing an analysis of synchronous counters. You've got your J and K expressions. Determine if your present and external input based on those expressions is going to transition you to the next stage.